Palia, officially the municipality of Palia, Tagalog, Bayan ng Palia, is a first-class municipality in the province of Rizal, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 64,812 people. Palia is just few kilometers away from Tanay, Rizal. It is surrounded by farms, small mountains, plains and trees. Palia is known as the Green Field Municipality of Rizal. Palia has preserved some religious and non-religious traditions such as the Santa Cruzan or Flores de Mayo, wherein men and women walk all over town with their gowns. Town Fiesta during the month of July is being visited by people from the city to experience the celebrations especially the amateur shows at night. Like other towns, Palia holds basketball league competitions for youth during summer. Palia is also a destination for road cyclists because of its asphalted road, specifically in Sitio Bugaran in Barangay Halayhan. History Piling Munti, Pilila's pre-Hispanic name, was ruled by a leader named Salian Maginto. His territory encompasses the modern-day jurisdiction of the municipalities of Baras, Tanay, Palia, and Jalayala. It was referenced as Munti, in contrast to the nearby and much larger town of Pila in the province of Laguna. Cavada, a Spanish historian, revealed that in the year 1571, the Spanish forces conquered the towns along Laguna de Bay which they called, Rinconada de Moron, and Piling Munti was among these which surrendered to the superior force of the Spaniards. Piling Munti was incorporated to the colonial administration of Morong, and thus, the town was called, Piling Morong. In 1572, the first Spanish missionary priests arrived at Piling Morong. Since then, Christianity was spread by the Spanish priests and in 1582, Fr. Juan de Placencia and Fr. Diego de Oropesa established a visita barrio at Piling Morong. The place was divided by the Spaniards into five rancherias Monte Tanay, Sitio Tigbi, Lulucong. San Diego Monte Yacat Dolo Rio, Wawa In 1583, Piling Morong became an independent municipality. Palia was given as the official name of the newly formed town. The name Palia arose from the diminutive rules in the Castilian language by modifying a name with Illa or Illo to indicate a smaller or younger version. In 1599, 16 years after the town was given autonomy, the supreme government granted Palia the authority to construct a church. In 1600, the first church of Cogon and Bamboo was constructed in the Dolo Rio but this was burned and a church made of wood was constructed but this was also burned down with the whole town in 1632. Another church made of wood was built and this suffered the same fate in 1668. Two years later, the construction of the present church began. This was finished in 1673 and the edifice still stands up to the present. As an autonomous town, Palia encompassed several barrios including Tanay and Jalayala. Tanay separated from Palia and became an independent town in 1606. Jalayala became a barrio of Palia in 1676, but was separated and made an independent town in 1786. It was reincorporated as a barrio of Palia in 1816, but nine years later, it was once again separated from Palia to become an independent municipality. On December 4, 1837, an election of local officials was held in Palia. The following towns participated in the said election, Morong, Palia, Tanay, Baras, Jalayala and San Diego. The last town was a new town and is presumed to be either the Barrio of Kisao, which has San Diego as its patron, or the Barrio of Neogan. In 1853, Palia was separated from the province of Laguna to be incorporated to the newly created Distrito de los Montes de San Mateo. In 1857, it was given the new name Distrito Politico Militar de Morong. On March 10, 1861, two principales of San Diego presented to the government a request, on behalf of the residents of San Diego and the sitios of Mavia and Puang, that their territory be separated from Palia and to create an independent town to be called Perez. Both the gobernador Silo and the parish priest as well as the gobernador Politico Militar de Morong favored the petition. 
However, it was disapproved by the Administración Civil since the territory did not meet the prerequisite of having at least 500 tributes, the said territory was having only 298 tributes at that time. On July 9, 1885, the government received another petition from Cabeza de Barangay of San Diego requesting that it be made into a kind of self-governing barrio of Palia, on account of its remoteness. On January 25, 1886, the government agreed to make San Diego into a visita continente absolute, on condition that the barrio construct the necessary public buildings. Thus, upon the fulfillment of the agreed condition, the government's approval went into effect on June 18 of that same year. In 1896, the Katipuneros of Palia and San Diego established their military camp at Rambo or Pavalang Nagubit. Three years later, on August 6, 1898, Palia was incorporated in the revolutionary government of Gen. Emilio Aguinaldo. During the existence of the Philippine Republic, San Diego became an independent town. On January 5, 1899, a fierce battle ensued between the American forces and the Filipino troops defending Palia. The town was partially ravaged by fire and local troops had to retreat to the mountain of Tanay. The towns of Palia and San Diego were integrated into the newly created province of Rizal in June 1901. Two years later, the Philippine Commission, in line with its policy of economy and centralization, consolidated the towns of Palia, San Diego and Jalayala with the seat of government in Palia. The first Capitan under the American regime was Regino Quixing who was the Alcalde from 1900 to 1901. On September 20, 1907, Jalayala was separated from Palia and became an independent municipality. Kisao, on the other hand, remained a barrio of Palia up to the present. In 1918, the population of Palia was 2,776 and Kisao was 814. In 1929, the place called Longos within the jurisdiction of Palia was cleared by the majority of the tenant population of the town of Jalayala who transferred their homes to this site and whereon they founded a new community, thus avoiding their agrarian conflict with the plantation owner of Jalayala. On September 24, 1929, Don Ananias Vicencio, a philanthropist in public documents, donated a tract of land containing approximately 15 hectares to the families of Manuel Roxas, Leoncio Carungay and Quintin Galidan, all of Jalayala, who shall distribute and assign free of charge and to the best interest of the residents, the said lot at Longos, Barrio Quisao, Municipality of Palia. In 1939, this land was surveyed by ENGR. Quintin Galladin who provided the layout of this new community now called Barrio Malaya. On December 13, 1942, the town of Kisao was attacked and pillaged by Talisans. During the liberation of the town on March 18, 1945, nearly three quarters of all the houses and public buildings were either burned or destroyed by American and Filipino military bombing and shelling. The Japanese forces and Makapili fled to the mountains following the liberation of the town. The PCAU of the U.S. Army re-established the municipal government of Palia on April 20, 1945 with the designation of Lucio Aquino, an active guerrilla leader, as the mayor. Barangays Palia is politically subdivided into nine barangays, Bagambayan, Poblacion, Halayhayan, Pulo, Poblacion, Imatong, Poblacion, Malayat, Neogan, Kisao, Wawa, Poblacion, Tacungan, Poblacion. Demographics in the 2015 census, the population of Palia, Rizal, was 64,812 people, with a density of 930 inhabitants per square kilometer or 2,400 inhabitants per square mile. References External links Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information 
Local Governance Performance Management System.